Arma Reforger or Arma Refunder? When should you get in on this bandwagon? Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Based off of everything that was said in Bohemia's Tuesday spiel uh, on release day, uh, based off of what's released in Arma Reforger right now, I'm going to say 90% of people that are really into Arma 3 are not the target audience for Arma Reforger right now. That is eventually going to change, but that rate of change is entirely dependent on the current 10% target audience that Bohemia is focusing on trying to nab for Armor Reforger. Let me explain. So day one right now with that $30 price tag, I wouldn't touch Reforger right now for the majority of you, but if you fall into these two categories, you should jump in right now. That first category is the modders. Now, let me explain this. Armor Reforger is not a game. It is a test bed. It is a tech demo. It is a platform launch where they are going to give all the tools they use to make the content for Armor Reforger out of the Infusion Engine and give it to anyone who gets Reforger to basically play with, to release stuff. They're hoping to get major mod groups like RHS, Cup, just to name two big ones, to start playing with the tools to then get ready to port their content over. This is because back when Arma 2 turned to Arma 3 back in 2013, when Arma 3 was released, very, very few communities immediately jumped on Arma 3 for two major reasons. One, it was a very buggy mess, but two, more importantly, the modders took a long time, years even, to port the progenitor mods of what was Ace and Acre into Arma 3, because the Arma 3 modding tools and the modding tools for previous games are very difficult to use, according to what a lot of modders have told me. But compared to what Infusion has released, Infusion's modding tools are so much better, so much easier. There's much more documentation, and there's a lot more for modders to do with it with a lot more freedom uh, compared to the limitations of the previous sets of tools. So modders are the main target audience for Armor Reforger at the moment. The second less important target audience for right now but the next target audience that'll be super important for this whole process to work are the content creators and the people surrounding their uh those content creators their communities uh myself as an example uh drum heller aka jester 814 remy dyslexi drewski all the big names in arma 3 they're going to be the ones that then take these mods, make content out of it, release it, and that's going to start bringing in the rest of the general public into Armor Reforger. Because right now, Armor Reforger is a two to five hour experience before it gets super repetitive. That isn't worth the 30 bucks. But down the line, uh, three to six months from now, when it's on sale and you see that, oh, RHS just had a massive content drop in Armor Reforger. And, oh, there's all these slice of life mods that have been added to Armor Reforger. That's when you're going to jump in. And that could take anywhere from a few months to about a little over a year. But we're not going to see 20, uh, excuse me, Arma 4 until about, I want to say 2024, 2025 at a minimum. But when it finally does happen, the mods are going to be instantly transferred and there's not going to be any waiting and sitting on your hands for Arma 4. Everyone's going to immediately jump right on it because everything that we like about Arma is going to be ready to go. So here is the deal. I am going to do my best to help you guys know when to jump onto Arma Reforger because at this point, it just depends on do you like the mods that are being put into Reforger? So here is the deal. Unfortunately, I've already heard of a few teams that aren't going to be touching Armor Reforger for various reasons. One of the major ones is now that how Armor Reforger works is they have the workshop integrated into the game itself, which means you don't have to alt F4 your game and completely load a new set of mods to get on a separate server. All of that is done automatically in the game itself, which is great, but there's a few drawbacks. The main one being for certain IPs, 
like other game IPs or show IPs. So Warhammer 40k, especially with Games Workshop, because they are malicious, but Star Wars 2, Mass Effect, you might not be able to see mods for that in Armor Reforger, because now that they're going to be a part of the platform itself, some companies might be a little more vindictive about making sure content like that isn't on the game, which means Bohemia might have to be a little more defensive to prevent being sued uh, and have to police the workshop a little harder. Now, this is pure speculation, but this is also based off of the fear that I've already, uh, already heard from some modding communities. So keep that in mind when it comes to this modding process. But I've also heard that some modding communities are going to go full forward with transferring to Armor Reforger, but that is going to come at a cost. The cost being right now, up until this point, we have been in a golden age of Armor 3 modding for, I want to say, the past three years, where a lot of crazy things have been coming out, and honestly, you could spend years on Arma 3 and not get bored of the various different types of content packs that have been coming out and actively being released. That golden age is going to start to tarnish now because some of the resources that modding teams were spending developing new assets, squashing bugs, and developing new scripting for those mods is instead going to be transferred to time of transferring and getting things ready for Arma Reforger and Arma 4 eventually. So I don't think it's going to be too much of a tarnish because we're already seeing some modding teams uh, not make that turn. So it just means, you know, sometimes going to be divided. I don't mean for that to be such a negative point, but it is something to still bring up. But here's what I'm going to do for you guys. Over the next week, I am going to reach out to all of the major and moderate and even a few minor communities that I know that handle modding. And I'm going to simply ask them, what are your plans for Armor Reforger? I'm going to then compile that information and explain it over a video to tell you what teams are going to be moving over, what teams aren't, and the reasons why, or what teams might be on the fence. That way, you'll have stuff to look forward to for Armor Reforger, because these teams are then going to need time to make those assets transferred into Arma Reforger and eventually Arma 4. After that, I'm going to be releasing monthly videos talking about which mods have come through, which mods were that weren't originally tied to previous developer teams that have come out as new projects that you might be interested in, and I'm going to do my best to show that Reforger is becoming more like a game rather than a test bed. But I think the term platform will always apply to Reforger because this is literally a platform for modders. Also, as time passes, you're more likely to see Reforger on sale. I think it's going to potentially have a 10 or 20% drop, maybe not for the Steam Summer Sale, but at least in three to six months. But it's going to be entirely up to you on when you want to get in on this because what is that $30 price tag or $27 or $25 price tag if it's on sale worth to you based on what mods are released in the game? Because even though Bohemia said they're going to be supporting it for about 12 months, I wouldn't expect much to be released because Bohemia, they're geniuses for this, by the way. They're going to sit on their hands, they're going to see what comes out, and then potentially we might see another CDLC type of project for Arma 4 where they cherry pick the best modding teams or the most uh, famous mods in Arma Reforger and potentially line them up for paid CDLCs in Arma 4, which that is also another huge can of worms that could happen. We'll see. Um, usually Bohemia has been really good about making sure that free content in the past doesn't become paid content, but that was only applied to Arma 3, and this is going to be Arma Reforger to Arma 4, which, by the way, I don't think you're going to get a free copy of Arma 4 if you buy Arma Reforger right now. It's going to be its own separate cash grab, so keep that in mind. Uh, but again, I don't think we're going to see Arma 4 until 2024 or 2025 minimum, but at least when we do see it, everything in terms of modding is going to be easily transferred because... Again, that's why I want to say at least 95% of us are here in the first place. So, Armor Reforger, right now, it does feel a little bit like Armor Refunder, but don't fret, because I think you're eventually going to get in the bandwagon just like everyone else. It's just a matter of what comes out, what interests you, 
and how long you want to sit. But until then, continue to enjoy Arma 3, continue to enjoy Arma Reforger, because this is also a glimpse of the future of Arma 4. And honestly, I don't think there was a better way Bohemia could have done this other than the marketing issues, because this is going to give the power to the modders to pretty much do anything, and that is literally the best thing they could have done, in my honest opinion. So that's my two cents, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm more than happy to debate with you guys on that. But otherwise, I'll see you next week for a follow-up, and I'll try my best to get you that information, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Go operate operationally. Enjoy the rest of your day or night. Cheers, and have a good one.